Places where the world is saying, find pleasure here, find pleasure here. And, and you know, you look at those three things. You look at the pride, you look at the wealth, you look at the pleasure. The irony is, is that he felt like he had to search for that outside of the fold when it was available to him the whole time inside the fold. And we're going to see that at the end of the story. The father even saying those words. That I, it has been here available to you and to your brother as well. I, I mean, people, people, I guess, look at Christianity sometimes and they say, you know what? If I had become a Christian, that, that would be boring. That'd be no fun. I, I would like have to do things that God tells me I don't want to do, or I'd have to have this vow of poverty or vow of silence or be shipped off to you know, South America or deep, dark jungles of Africa and you know, share Jesus with people I don't want to share. No, you, you know what? When you legitimately understand what it means to be a Christ follower, when, when, when you understand what Jesus was asking for, that's when God turns and, and ignites your emotions and your feelings to go after the things of God rather than the things of this world that will always disappoint you. And, and, and the hard part is probably people who are trying to walk that line between the world's things and God's things. It's one way or the other, folks. And the, some of the most miserable people in the world who know, know what God can bring to them and yet still try and search for those kind of things outside of God's will. God, God, God when, when he, we fully give things over to him, he brings a deeper satisfaction in our lives and causes us to really develop into relationship, which is what we are meant to, to have in our lives. Inside of our hearts, inside of our lives, there is emptiness that can only, only be filled with a relationship with God.